thoughtful, enthusiastic, inquisitive. A true intellectual. The complete hematologist. He's a consummate mentor. Absolute devotion to hematology. When I was president of ASH uh, and I was somewhat involved in the creation of the Wallace Coulter Award, it was Frank that I and many of us had in mind as the epitome of the Coulter Award for Lifetime Achievement in Hematology. Frank has served the American Society of Hematology in almost every imaginable way. He's been on the executive committee, he's been the president. I think he's without a doubt the most eminent scientist in hemoglobin research in the world. Virtually everything Frank has contributed to hematology as an investigator really has profound implications for many, many other fields and it's not restricted to hematology. The uh, identification of hemoglobin A1C, which is uh, a test we use for diabetics um, is, is something that stands out because we use it every day in the hospital and the clinic. Um, so I think that is one of the most recognizable contributions. It was Frank who uh, actually spent a considerable amount of time and research effort understanding exactly how hemoglobin A1C uh, was produced. Hemoglobin A1C testing probably gets done five million times a day around the world, maybe 10 million times a day. And Frank did that work. He started doing a, a lot of work on studying the regulation of erythropoiesis by studying er erythropoietin. In hematology, there's red cells, white cells, and platelets. Frank has been Mr. Red Cell. He had a key paper in the New England Journal about 10 years ago on sickle cell disease. It's absolutely still the best. His textbooks on uh, hemoglobin, diseases affecting hemoglobin, such as thalassemias and sickle cell disease, have enormous impact. His classic book on hemoglobinopathy is still a model of clarity and actually enjoyable reading of science. I remember a couple of sickle cell patients in particular that I shared with Frank. They loved him. He had a very special relationship with his patients. They knew what a prominent scholar and scientist he was, which I think was a source of comfort for them. He also related to them in a very warm and special way. On top of everything else, he is a phenomenal teacher. He has run the hematology course for the medical students for many, many years. I think he's been a model for me in a lot of ways. On top of it, he is unfailingly courteous and uh, always such a gentleman and gentle person to deal with that it's, uh, it's effortless to interact with him. In some ways, every single day, things that he taught me either explicitly or perhaps even more so by example manifest themselves and I think how I behave and how I think. Besides science and teaching and being a clinician, his Frank is passionate about music. There are times when one thinks that he is happiest when he's playing the piano. One of the high points of his life was rehearsing with Yo-Yo Ma several years ago. I can always tell you about the concert that he went to in the last few days, the novel that he's in the middle of. He always has a, a quote from a, an old black and white movie to explain uh, a complicated uh, present day situation. He's very, very special and I, I know of no one who deserves it more. To me the most important thing is to try to share a passion for what you're doing, a love of the pursuit. The Occult Award is a source of great gratification to me for the time that I've spent in a discipline that's been extremely exciting and fulfilling. I feel that the donor of this award deserves my thanks not only because of the receipt of the award but also because of what they've contributed to hematology.